I just love spaghetti a la puttanesca because it's a really simple dish to make with some really bold flavors. So here I've got some French capers, some sliced black olives, some sliced anchovy, some chili, and of course garlic. My pan is warm over here, so I'm gonna add a good slug of olive oil. I'll add my garlic. Now while that's warming, I'll chop my chili and my capers. I'm gonna leave a few of these seeds in because they do add an extra special heat, which I actually really like. Just give that a little stir. So I'll lightly chop the capers. Now it's my black olives and the anchovies. The anchovies will melt down through the sauce and give a really good bold saltiness, which I really like. Now it's my tomatoes and some tomato paste. Now I'm just gonna let that simmer down for all the flavors to infuse for about 10 minutes. Puttanesca sauce is a great recipe base for so many different other variations. You could add chicken or prawns, or even if you wanted to enhance the vegetables, some extra sun-dried tomatoes. Okay, so my sauce is ready. It's been bubbling for about 10 minutes, and I can see that it's reduced down and the oil is sitting nicely. It's really good and glossy. I'm gonna add my spaghetti. It's been cooking for about 10 minutes also until al dente. and I'm just gonna to toss that through lightly to coat the spaghetti. It's such a quick and bold dish, I love it so much. It's come together so quickly, I'm really hungry. Okay, so now it's time to plate up. If you really wanna enhance the flavor of this dish, why not add some sun-dried tomato strips? It'll really intensify the tomatoiness in this dish. I'll just finish with a few sprigs of parsley. And there it is, my spaghetti a la puttanesca.